to really create um, you know, computer science almost as a, a fourth literacy and um, that importance of that. And how do you see the national stage being set or is there more of a push um, in certain areas to try and um, have computer science really, um, you know, be valued and, and put into our system? I think that um, it's definitely on a topic of conversation on the national stage, mm -hmm. for sure. And policymakers are thinking about it and talking about it. I think that um, the pandemic and the and the switch for all the schools to go online sort of accelerated a lot of this. And fortunately, or uh, or not fortunately, because computer science had not been a core course, there were lots of great online and virtual opportunities to learn that. So during the pandemic, you know, that was the one course that was actually plug and play ready to go for online school. Um, the national conversation, you know, under Obama, it was computer science for all. Mm -hmm. um, the Trump administration kind of made it more about like, um, like, um, oh, what's it called? Um, the Perkins funding, the uh, career and technical oh, education. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, the CTE, they made it about apprenticeships, but it didn't go away. It was still mm -hmm. around. Um, and now the Biden administration has been talking about AI and they're talking about cybersecurity. Right. And so it's still part of the conversation. I think the thing that is important for those of you working at the sort of meta level with school districts to bring home is to sort of decode the word salad. Because what principals and other educators are hearing is data science, computer science, AI, you know, I just saw another like member of Congress is, is launching an AI initiative. I'm like, okay, why are we teaching AI somehow separate from computing? Right. It's not separate. Cybersecurity, not separate from computing. Um, these are all components of computing. And I think what the policymakers want to have their like thing with their name on it. Mm -hmm. But what the schools are experiencing and what the out of school time providers are experiencing is like so many conflicting messages, you know, digital literacy, digital skills, you know, blah. And it's like so hard to keep throwing different messages at them. So one of the things that I am continually hammering on is like, we as a community need to like agree on the nomenclature mm -hmm. and, and be very clear in the messaging. Um, of what is important. But I think that um, for certain national security and its connection to computers and computer science and um, having a computing literate populace is top of mind now. And mm -hmm. there was just a new civilian defense initiative announced with the Craig Newmark Foundation that um, is specifically, it's like $50 million related to cyber civil defense. And so, you know, that has a lot of forms. One of those forms is, you know, people just need to be very savvy about the computer and, and the internet and the things that they see and being able to parse those things. People need to be savvy about protecting themselves, but also that we need to be thinking about social impact, human costs and safety and privacy when we build computing programs, when we build software. And so I'm hopeful that this new attention to cybersecurity is going to bring those elements of ethics and social impacts and privacy to the forefront in the beginning of computer science education, not as like cherry on the Sunday where it often is. Even at the college level, you often don't take security until like your last year of college. And I would say we need to flip that to where we're thinking about security and the ethics of the technology we're building literally from day one. Yeah, and you know, you mentioned ethics. Uh, I think, you know, embedding ethics in um, all of the courses so that students get that understanding of, you know, what they are dealing with. Um, can you talk a little bit more about, you know, where you see kind of that ethical responsibility um, to be placed um, as we kind of go through this? See, I think, and I, I started to toy with this a little bit with a colleague at MIT, that um, every computing classroom 
every classroom that's learning computing should be at the very beginning sitting down and co-creating a code of ethics for their classroom starting at kindergarten you know okay i'm going to build a game is this playable by a person with a disability does this put anyone's personal information at risk like at getting the kids to come up with that code of ethics that they you know co-create and put up on the wall and then mm -hmm. that is your guiding star and when you build something that part of the assessment is how does this comply with our code of ethics that we created i think hmm. it needs to be first not technology is fun anyone can do it we can all play with it but that the responsibility piece of it is woven in from the very very beginning um, because right now what we're kind of doing is like this is so fun make a game make a thing and then later we're starting to say oh by the way there's racism built into this technology by the way there's danger built into this technology so i think we need to kind of flip that um i do recommend there's a brand new just came out this spring a graphic novel that has come out from dr jean margolis and her team at ucla called power on that is written for the middle high school level. Uh -huh. They did a talk on it yesterday at the size conference. And it's um, aimed to get kids thinking about the social impacts of technology. In particular, this one has a whole thread around facial recognition software and the fact that it doesn't equally recognize folks. So I think um, there's a really good opportunity to take the ethics questions and weave those in with um, with computing in ways that get kids really interested and excited. Even things as simple as, you know, civic tech data and looking at things like the location of bus stops relative to poverty, like there's all these things you can do with data science and analytics that bring in these questions of, of ethics. The other thing I recommend is Dr. Casey Fiesler has created this curriculum could easily be adapted. She does it with her college students, but it's called basically like Black Mirror Writer's Room. Mm -hmm. And she has students take a current technology and imagine sort of a Black Mirror episode around that technology. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of like what could go wrong. And um, similarly, you could basically take Black Panther I mean, Black Panther is basically the same story of like, there's amazing technology, what happens if it falls into the hands of people who are bad actors versus good actors, and what's that balance? So you can spur these conversations with kids using, you know, sort of pop culture type things that um, get them thinking about it. 